Hey guys, here we go again with another 25 packs of this year's 22-23 Tim Hortons cards exclusive to Canada and maybe Pittsburgh and Colorado. Who knows if they have any packs down there. If anyone knows, actually, uh, if you see this video, drop a comment and see if you can get any uh, packs in the U.S. Maybe uh, get a couple packs in Buffalo if you're lucky. I uh, pulled some nice cards out of the first 25. Pulled the Trevor Zegris and Alexi Lafreniere uh, in motion phenoms. The flow in time of Austin Matthews with a Spectrum standouts as well. And a Sidney Crosby and Lucas Raymond uh, Spectrum standouts as well. So let's see if we can pull any banger cards out of this one. I'd like to pull a Redemption card. But we'll see what happens. Nylander, Erickson, and a Tim Stutzla. There we go. In motion phenoms. Look at that beauty of a card. Much better than last year's. Basic orange on the background. This one's very nice and shiny. That's a beautiful card right there. These are definitely probably going to sell really fast out of the Tim Hortons. Uh, in pretty much any area, unless you live out in the boondocks somewhere. So get them while you can, if you can. Boone Jenner, Chandler Stevenson, and a die cut of Chris Kreider. I would love to see a redemption card. Hopefully not of just donuts or a coffee. Any kind of autograph jersey. NHLLive.com, whatever. We got a Matthew Barzell and a Trevor Zegris base card with a Matthew Kachuk. Still on the flames. There we go. Superstar Showcase. I know a lot of my friends are, are buying a lot of packs, a lot of boxes uh, when they can, if they can. Gordon out there is telling me to buy up as much as I can. I like to keep it a little fair. I only bought uh, two boxes myself, only because I could actually afford it. Jas Ro Jack Roslovic, Huberdo, and a Spectrum standout of Natty Mac Nathan McKinnon. Very nice. Like I said before, I'm waiting to see if the second set for next year comes out. If it's a legend set, which would be really nice. Phil Kessel, Timo Meyer, and Alex Ovi for the Hockey Triumphs. For our friends in the U.S., you do get a insert card in every pack. There's only three cards in a pack. So it's not like regular upper deck where you get seven or eight cards. It's only three cards. Duclair, Bennington, and a Brad Marchand red die cut. So there is a lot of insert sets to complete alongside the base set of 120 cards this year. Mangiapani. Tarasenko and Darnell Nurse for the Hockey Triumphs. These are very well designed cards. Landeskog, Barkov, and Patrick Kane for the Triumphs as well. That's probably going to be the uh, lowest value insert set is probably the Triumphs. The gold etchings probably following behind. Red die cuts after that. Bergeron, Dottie, and Jonathan Huberdo for the gold etchings. I would say the higher value inserts most likely are going to be the ones you see showing on the on the mat here. The in motion phenoms being the younger younger players.
Spectrum standouts and always on top of the regular set is going to be the Flow of Time inserts. Kyle Connor, Jason Robertson, and the Cole Caulfield in motion. There we go. I think we pulled the uh, top three or four big times names out of that one. We need a couple flowing times to make this wicker work. There's the Tim Horton base card. There we go. Very nice. Taylor Hall. And a red die cut of Lucas Raymond. I was lucky enough to score uh, tickets for the Toronto Detroit game this Saturday coming up. I'm hoping all the big names are on the ice, seeing as the hockey season starts next week. It'd be awesome to see the two top rookies for Detroit and Austin Matthews play before the regular season starts. There's Mark Shifley. Michael Bunting, it would be nice to see him play on ice. There's Victor Hedman, Shesterkin, and the gold etchings of Leon Dreisaitl. Elias Lindholm. Jack Eichel, base, and Braden Point for the Superstar Showcase. Let's go. Let's pull a banger out of the flow in time. We have Carey Price, Connor McDavid, Sidney Crosby, Roman Yossi, Troy Terry, die cut of Austin Matthews. Very cool. There we go. For my buddy JB Ghost Hunting, I'll be saving any Philly cards for you. As I've got the older sets on the side. Oh, we do have a flow in time of somebody. Matt Duchesne, Quinn Hughes, and who have we got here? Brent Burns. Look at that. With a beard, without a beard. <laughs> doesn't even look like the same guy. Very nice. Here we go. Carey Price. Jack Campbell, no longer on the Leafs. Spectrum standout of Mitch Marner. Love these cards, man. The design and whatever they do with the shiny cards in the background is freaking nice. Tim Horton's cards are always, always a standout card. Doesn't matter what subset it is. They just look freaking nice. Matthew Barzal, Nikita Kucherov, and in motion of Jonathan Dolan. Very cool. Very odd. I'm not used to opening packs uh, backwards like everybody else is. We got Matt Dumba, Brad Marchand, and Artemi Panarin for the red die cuts. John Gibson, Phil Kessel, and Austin Matthews for the Superstar Showcase. T. 
Teravinen, Austin Matthews base card, and oh, a gold etchings of Svechnikov. We got Chris Letang, Jordan Cairo, and Vasilevsky for the Hockey Triumphs as they win the title against the Canadians, unfortunately, last year. There's Connor McDavid base card, Shesterkin, and Johnny Goodrow. Hope he does well on the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets this coming year. Very sad to see him depart my team. Unfortunately, Calgary got nothing. Very disappointing on that one. We got Cam Talbot. Darnell Nurse and Trevor Zegers for the Hockey Triumphs flipped the puck over the net for an amazing assist. Looks very, very shocked. Last pack out of this 25. PK Subban. Retired, Troy Terry, and a gold etchings of Sid the Kid Crosby. Very sweet-ass card. So there we go. We pulled some nice, nice inserts. We got another flow of time, which is good to see that the consistent rate is good. We pulled uh, two in motions with uh, Cole Caulfield and uh, Jonathan Dolan. We pulled the... Uh, Spectrum standout, Mitch Marner and Nathan McKinnon. So these are a lot of fun. Love these inserts. Very, very flashy cards. Very, very much worth the value. Uh, buying either a dollar or two dollars each. For a true collector, we don't really care. Thank you guys for joining me on this second break for today. Keep ripping those packs. Keep ripping those boxes. Have a great day. If you can, get to a Tim Hortons and see if they have packs. Get those cards. Check it later.